Mark at Cobra Speed Curve Finish Network. It is a video all of you guys have been waiting for. Promised you guys like months ago I was going to attempt to do a video with the cheap Harbor Freight electric sprayer and I held my promise. So you guys saw the last video. We did primer. We did really thick coats of the Speedo Coat S, uh, SS2790G primer. It was almost a spray on body filler. Standed it all out, 180 grit, 400 grit, wiped it down, and this is where we're at. We're ready for paint. So it's pretty hot outside. I'm not huge on primer sealers when it is just like, it is just like exhausting hot. I don't care what kind of primer sealer you use. You can use the best in the world. Um, it doesn't matter what brand. Sometimes it will add orange peel. So I'm actually gonna use the Speedo Coat Nardo Gray as like basically a sealer and kind of like a ground coat for the color we're gonna put on top of it. So we're gonna start whacking on some coats of Nardo Gray, get everything covered in one color, and then you guys will see what color I'm actually painting the car. <laughs> some green ivy pearl it's a factory chrysler base coat it's on the new jeeps i will be posting the color code in the description and you guys can order it directly from www.speedocoat.com speedocoat can make it for you guys if you like this color they can make this exact color for you guys to spray on your own personal cars back in like 20 minutes man and this thing just completely I don't know whether some paint dried up in it or something but it is like done like it is not spring at all I have a hundred percent faith if I could have gotten just one more coat of paint on this car and just kind of evened out some of them tiger stripes I mean this thing would have came out freaking good man this thing would have came out not freaking I mean not good but not bad I mean, this is like two coats on here right now. And I got a little, miss a little coverage on the back bumper. You see, it's a little, a little bit of ground coat still showing through. But man, I'm not, I'm not going to give up on this thing, guys. I'm not going to say this is, this is not going to work. 
but it just it, it died on me i love the color the bumper came out the best because i got this this is three coats right here look at this guys okay boom no problem three coats beautiful okay i only got two coats on the car if i could have gotten three full coats on the car will look just as good as a bumper so we're gonna go ahead i know it's kind of defeats the whole purpose of the video but I, I wanted to do this for you guys just to show you the results we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pull it in the shop get out the spray gun we're gonna finish this thing up guys that is gonna wrap it up now for the wing wang car budget race car so as you guys can see the paint job you know it came it look 10 feet away it's it's a good looking car great color i love the color the finish is not perfect finish is not perfect because of the electric spray gun i even believe this thing was starting to fail halfway through the job and it was creating an excessive orange peel with the green that I was putting on it. And let, let me tell you something, that first coat of paint went down like glass. Like that gun was, it, it was on. I mean, it was laying down that paint really good. It's like as soon as I, you know, the more I used it, it started to not put out as much paint. And I told you, I took a 20 minute rest break because I was overheating and I came back and just nothing, flat line, the gun died 100% no paint was coming out i tried cleaning it nothing worked so i decided since the since the paint job came out like so so i'm just going to turn it basically into a redneck race car as you guys can see there's literally nothing in this freaking car besides a steering wheel a seat um yeah i wouldn't say this is slammed i would say this is functional suspension we switched out the wheels of suspension we put in um Colder intake and some other stuff you guys will see in another video under the hood. Good old ricer cut out. Nice little rice burner cut out on the bumper, make it look like a race car. If you guys are wondering, is this a color shift paint job? Actually, yes it is. Uh, first coat was, um, over the green, was actually a chameleon paint. Um, you guys know I make that myself. I do sell it if you guys are interested. Don't 
Do not contact me if you're cheap because this is not cheap stuff. And then I actually only did one coat of the SMR 1150 over top of that. One really, really wet coat. And it actually turned out not bad. I mean, one coat of the SMR 1150, it's got a decent gloss to it. I like how it looks because it's not too glossy because guys, let me say something. The bodywork close up looks terrible. It is very wavy. They're still dense. So it is kind of gave it like enough gloss to say, okay, yeah, that's a paint job, but not too much gloss to where it's like, oh my God, you can see every little imperfection. I, I, it's a love hate relationship. I love how it turned out, but I'm also like, ah, eh, it could have been better, whatever. So can you use a airless sprayer to paint your car? 100%. I would not recommend doing transparent colors like this. This color is very transparent. If you guys are just doing single stage black, gray, white, or a, any type of solid color, this gun works. If you are on a budget and you have a car just like mine, thousand dollar beater, go for it, man. Over reduce the paint. I don't always recommend that because then you weaken the binder and the paint. You know, a lot of chemical science behind that. But try and over reduce the paint just a hair to get it to flow out real good yes it can be done is this optimal absolutely not no the best thing is is to get uh, probably a, a better um airless sprayer system which i will have a video coming up on that stay tuned this is not the end a better airless sprayer system or guys hvlp conventional auto body spray gun that's how i finished this job up after the gun failed that's going to wrap it up for this one. Stay tuned for more videos. This is not the last video I have on this car. I'm going to have multiple more videos coming on this car. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe. New videos every week.